hi welcome everyone so today's content is a quick one on how to smartly define the mass modeling for any seismic simulation now in general whenever you are doing the seismic simulation in stat uh, there are two different methods uh, one is the static and one is the dynamic the static one is where we are taking the first mode or the dominant mode and we are using that uh, behavior of that first mode and we are statically solving them on the other hand for the dynamic analysis uh, it could be like um, the time history or response spectrum uh, say for example the response spectrum so in the response spectrum also we have to extract all the other modes apart from the first mode or the fundamental modes through the eigen solutions and then we have to take the contribution for the other modes and combine them together by different procedure and find the overall responses now let's say for the static procedure in the static procedure what we have to do we have to define the seismic definition right so for the seismic definition in the static procedure first thing that you have to do is define the inertial information like self weight joint weight inertia means the one that we uh, that is already existing uh, in the structure as uh, mass uh, whenever the earthquake is hitting at the base uh, these mass due to this inertia would be moving on the opposite direction and thereby just generating some a reaction lateral reaction and eventually uh, different elements of the structure would receive some forces so basically uh, we are solving it through the uh, equivalent lateral force distribution method a fictitious method it's a so this inertial information would be used for calculating the base shear first and by different codal equations we are distributing the base shear at different flow levels and we are statically solving the uh, frame uh, so what we have uh, seen here we have to define this inertial information now, same thing for the response spectrum as well uh, for example in the response spectrum analysis also we have to define the mass modeling um, this mass means the same inertia uh, the dead load or the percentage of live load which is already there in the building where the earthquake is hitting the building uh, for example uh, self weight x y and z that means uh, we are defining uh, that the self weight is allowed to vibrate in all the three different degrees of freedom if it is considered as the three-dimensional dynamic analysis so what we have to do for uh, self weight we have to define it all the three different directions then if there is any other imposed load for example live load the percentage of the live load has to be taken if there is any panel load wall load and so on so all the different loads that is coming as an inertial load has to be defined in the mass modeling so we have seen that in both the approaches we have to define all those inertial information now and this is a very simple model so i have only taken two different load cases dead load and live load where we have taken a simple flow load and the member load but in the real life scenario there would be a list of different uh, uh, inertial loads so uh, to define them uh, we have to do it very painstakingly in the static uh, method or else in the dynamic analysis method so there is an approach uh, which can simplify our task we call it the reference load uh, in the reference load you have to define only once if you are taking um, either a st static procedure or the dynamic procedure or else if you are defining both of them together then you have to define them only once now irrespective of whether you are doing it individually either the static or the dynamic or the both uh, some way around you have to define at least once this mass modeling now in the conventional way it's very painful to do uh, because first of all you need to read all those dead load and live load and identify that okay this is the inertial information and dump it just before the seismic definition and then just before on the response spectrum analysis if, if, if you have already defined the response spectrum definition so you have to do it manually so there is a chances of doing the error and also it's very time consuming and also this there could be the scenario like where you have to define both of them uh, if you go by the Indian uh, seismic code or any other international design code they 
suggest to perform both the analysis together so that even if you are getting the base shear calculated through the dynamic procedure less than the base shear calculated through the static procedure then we have to take the conservative side so the static procedure base shear is higher so we have to calculate the ratio between the base shear between the static procedure and the uh, response spectrum procedure and uh, find the ratio and multiply the ratio to all the response quantities calculated through the dynamic procedure so what we are doing here we have to perform both the procedures static as well as the dynamic and uh, in both the procedures we have to define the inertial information once as a seismic definition and another as a mass modeling uh, just before the response spectrum definition so it's a very painful task first of all you have to manually copy this information from dead load and live load and also this is a duplication of task so to cut it short we have to define it once only in the reference load definition and also to automate this so that you didn't have to uh, manually pick the information from the dead load and live load we have a very smart tool recently implemented in stand we call it the mass model generator okay so this is the mass modeler now i have already defined the seismic definition this is for the static procedure and also there is a response spectrum load case this is the one i have only defined the response spectrum definition i haven't defined the mass information that is the mass modeling now assuming that in this model i I'm going to simulate both the procedure that there is a static as well as the response spectrum and this is the load case for the static uh, seismic analysis and these are my dead load and live load this is the dead load this is the live load this is a very simple model uh, just for this demonstration now one thing that you need to remember to use this uh, reference load procedure is always uh, try to map the right loading type for the respective load cases for example this is the dead load so we have tagged it as a loading type as a dead and similarly we have tagged it as a live uh, as a loading type for the live load case fine so let's see how this mass modeler works here we could have uh, manually used this reference load definition and uh, uh, copied uh, manually this uh, dead load and live load information and paste it over there and also if there is some reduction then we have to manually calculate and do it so this uh, this is a very painful task so if we go by this uh, mass model generator this is a smart tool we have recently implemented so here we can see that for example this is the dead load we have dragged it here this is the live load and for example we want to reduce its uh, contribution up to 50 percent to so you can use it like 0.5 and click on this generate now you can see in a single click we have smartly generated the reference load uh, definition or we can call it the reference load procedure of creating the mass modeling now here the benefit is first of all we didn't have to manually uh, pick the information program has automatically created the reference load mass modeling by uh, picking the values from the dead load case as well as the live load case and using the respective factors here you can see if you double click on this program has rightly taken the loading type as mass because without this uh, uh, assignment of uh, loading type as mass uh, program can't identify the mass modeling okay so here you can see that I didn't have to define any other informations for this just here we need to define for this earthquake load that is the static procedure we have to only define the directions that's all and all the other informations like uh, multiplying factor for accidental torsion or natural natural torsion and so on so that's all so here we are not going to define any inertial information before the seismic definition as well as the reference load definitions so let's perform the analysis you can see program has happily performed the analysis 
and here after performing the analysis you could see that um, the response for both the situations are properly calculated this is for the static and this is for the dynamic let's see the dynamic load case here okay so you can also see the different mode shapes if you want here okay so this is all about the latest implementation of uh, smart way of creating the mass modeling for a complex model where you are going to simulate the seismic analysis either for the static procedure or for the dynamic procedure or for both of them uh, this tool is the mass model generator so that's all from my side should you have any queries please don't hesitate to post it in the comment box i'll try my best to resolve them see you again thank you